What's up everybody? It is your girl Glenda and we are back with another video. Now on today's video, we are making a colossal veggie burrito. This thing is ginormous. We're going to have some Spanish rice in there. We're going to have some black beans in there. Some um, purple onion as you see here. Um, I've got half of a uh, green bell pepper. I also have a red bell pepper over here. And I've got a couple of tomatoes. They're just the Roma, Roma style tomatoes. I have two of those. I'm gonna put some potatoes in there because these potatoes are left over from last night. So we're also gonna add in some mushrooms, some sun-dried tomatoes. Man, plenty of cheeses, some spinach. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. And we're gonna season this thing up and make it nice and flavorful. So let's get started. Now y'all make sure that if you wanna be part of the G-Squad, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you are updated every time we upload a video. And that's all you have to do. So I'm just gonna chop up these vegetables um and they're all gonna be like in kind of like bite size pieces like this so i'm gonna do that to the onions the bell peppers the tomatoes and anything else that we add it's gonna all be put in here like this so i'm going to do this and come back to you when we come back we'll be at the stove because i need to do my spanish rice and show you how to zhuzh up these black beans See y'all back here in just a bit. Spoon, I guess and I've got my pan at about a medium heat now because I did have it on a low heat over here is my rice y'all have seen me fix that several times so I didn't bother putting that on the video um, but you can go back and look at some of my older videos um, and so last night we had baked potatoes and salad um, and that was so good so listen we have two baked potatoes that are left over and that's what I'm going to use this is just a, another way to to use your leftovers so I'm gonna um, chop that up and that's gonna be added to our our mixture here and let's go on in with our bell pepper mixture and then we're gonna add some onions to this this is a way right here, you guys, to just kind of zhuzh up your black beans. It gives it so much good flavor, so much good flavor. But we want to saute this down just a bit because, you know, their um, black beans are already done. They're coming out of a can. So we're going to saute that down just a bit. And we're also going to add some garlic to this. So y'all know I use the minced garlic already in a jar. So just about a teaspoon or so of that. You just have to, uh, you use what you like to use. Some people are big garlic fans. And so listen, if you like a lot of garlic, use a lot of garlic. That's your, this is your black bean filling. It's your prerogative, do what you wanna do. So we're gonna let this cook down just a little bit. I have this on a medium high heat. Let that cook down just a bit. And we're going to uh, add our black beans to that. Let that cook down 
Now what I'm what I am doing is creating one big mixture one big burrito mixture if you want to leave everything separate and layer it on layer it on you're you're able to do that because again it's your burrito and it's your way so you do it however you want to do it. but i'm gonna get a little knife here and i'm gonna cut up these uh baked potatoes and i'm just gonna rough chop it's not even a real you know i'm slicing them and then I'm gonna just cut them down to where they resemble, just look like that. And throw those right in there. You might not even taste them because they're gonna cook down some more. Left the skin on because it's what? Extra flavor. And I have two, so we're gonna do both of them. Um, I know I said we were gonna add the black beans, but I'm going on the fly here with these potatoes. Once again, your kitchen, your way. Now I'm gonna add in this can of black beans. And they have just a tiny bit of juice on them. We don't want, we don't want a lot. Now without the potatoes, if you just put those black beans with those, um, with those uh, peppers and onions and cook that down, I'm telling you, that right there with a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon, which I'm about to go in right now, and some black pepper. That's your baked bean mixture right there. Peppers and onions, black beans, chicken bouillon, black pepper. That's your mixture. So I'm gonna turn this just on a medium heat. And I don't know about y'all, but that actually looks really good to me. Just this mixture by itself just look delicious. But we're not gonna stop there. We're not gonna stop there, right babe? Where are we going? We're gonna do some dry tomatoes. Some sun-dried tomatoes. Let's drop a few of those in there them sun-dried tomatoes with a little bit y'all see how if i show you i'm just taking them with the knife right here and i'm giving putting a little bit of the oil too from it from those sun-dried tomatoes in that mixture it's just extra flavor why not why not and so the last thing i'm gonna put in here is the rest of my baby bella mushrooms they are going to be bad in a little bit, so we want to make sure we use those up. So I had an eight ounce um, container. This was an eight ounce container of Baby Bella uh, mushrooms that we just used a little bit on. Um, what do we cook with those? Oh, you made me some tacos, breakfast tacos. And he put a little bit of mushrooms in my breakfast taco. And so, um, that was what was left, so we're just gonna use that up. And you can chop those down if you want to, however you wanna do it. it again, it is your burrito. Fix it how you wanna fix it. So we're gonna let this on a medium low heat just kinda sweat down some. I'm gonna taste the back of the spoon. Oh my goodness. This mixture right here, this tastes really, actually, really, really good. It is. You wanna taste it though? <laughs> it's coming. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. Yep. I feel like it has just enough seasoning because y'all know the rice has tomato bouillon in it and onions, so it's gonna be it's gonna be enough. That rice is gonna be mixed with this mixture. And I'm gonna add some, some spinach. Christmas to this is coming. While it's on the Start sending your letters off to Santa. Christmas 
What's going in the burrito, y'all? My goodness. Woo! You better call your mama and tell her what we doing over here. Call her. Call her. Tell her what we doing over here on the vegetarian journey. Call her. See what she talking about. We'll be right back and we're gonna put this together for y'all. I thought I would come back on camera and build mine for y'all because mine is just gonna be a little different than my husband's. So of course you see I laid down some sour cream and I'm putting my filling in here like so. And I'm going to add in some blue cheese. Like I said, mine is gonna be a little different than my husband's. So he don't like blue cheese, but I do. So I'm just do a little different. And I'm gonna add in some regular cheddar cheese as well. And then I'm gonna put me some um, olives. Let me get a spoon. I'm just gonna add me some. I love black olives. So, and then I'm gonna add me on some little bit of purple onion. And um, let me go ahead with some, I'm gonna add in some avocado on mine, like so. And then I'm gonna put some lettuce on mine and some tomato. I'm gonna add a little black pepper. I love black pepper. And then we're gonna add some cheese. The Kobe and Mari Jack cheese. Right over the top. Now, the next step is trying to close this thing up. <laughs> That's gonna be the next step. <laughs> That's what mine's looking like so far. Now let's try to close this up. Mine ain't gonna close. <laughs> Pull it in so. <laughs> this definitely is a colossal, okay? Colossal burrito. Add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of this pan. And unlike my husband's, I didn't put any cheese like in the seam. So I'm trying to close it up for y'all for it to be closed, but it'll be all right. Let me close it up. All of my stuff is coming out.
that's mine, y'all. And then stay closed on the side, but I have a little too much feeling in mine, but that's mine. All right, so let's put it on a different cutting board so that I could cut this and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. Let me put this up for display a different way. Hold on just a second. All right. That's a better display, y'all. What? What? Look at that. Husband already asked for a second one. He ain't even ate this first one. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Taco Bell who? Listen, if you want to see more videos like this, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you're updated every time we upload a new video. We're going to see y'all on the next one because it's time to eat. I will see you all later. Bye.